One fairly advanced way to make piano parts is by customizing Sibelius ideas. So there's a massive number of ideas in here. Uh, the, probably the easiest thing to do first is to actually just type the word piano in, and then you can see different piano styles. But, but you know, um, that might also limit your choices. But unfortunately it's a bit of a funny program. Once you've done it once, it stays sorted like that until the next time you open Sibelius, which is somewhat annoying. So if you want to just sort of browse through the whole lot, you can. And you can also look in the um, large view which um, has the virtue of being able to read it all at once and see it at the same time, but the downside of not actually being able to listen to it. But at least you can quickly see, you know, stuff like this. Yeah? And if you sort for piano, piano, you're going to get two-hand piano parts, which is probably what you want. Um, I would suggest, though, that you stick to one style and truthfully, classical, modern classical, and jazz are probably a bit too weird for year 10 music but some of the country piano the pop piano and also jazz blues piano aren't too bad so if you can sort of figure out what colors they are you can look for them pop piano is a sort of a light blue jazz blues is a sort of a light pink color so you left click and hold and you can listen to them and basically you just need to audition them the way you audition loops the only difference being that it's a little bit clunky, this program. So once you've found some that you actually like, I suggest that you use this little page with the arrow and save them to the score. So I'm going to choose to use Pop Piano for my um, example today. And I'm going to choose Pop Rhythm 4. And I'm just going to save it to the score ideas list. Just, it just reminds you which ones you've actually decided that you like. And I might also choose um, Pop Piano Rhythm 2. I'll save that to score. So they're not really in... They're in the score in one way, but they're not in another way. So if you muck around with them, it'll change them in the main library, which is a bad idea. So what, you, what I suggest you do is to just simply paste them in. You'll notice that the original idea was in F, and this is pasted in, in C. So it's changed the key to match what you had in your original score. I'm going to go into Panorama View. So now, I know what chords they are, but most students wouldn't be able to tell that at a glance. But anyway, it doesn't matter, because what we're really looking for is not the chords themselves, although you could use them as is in Year 11 and 12, but in Year 10, what you want to do is edit them to make chords that you actually want to have. Yeah? So in this example, I'm going to use that classic chord progression from Hearts and Flowers, 1, 6, 4, 5, or C, A minor, F, G. So what I'm going to do is going to look at the notes in the idea and actually change them to match the notes that I know are in these chords. So in bar 1, C chord, C, E, G, I don't need to change anything. It's already a C chord. But in bar 2, A minor, I've got all sorts of weird stuff, yeah? So I want A, C and E, and I just want to move them as close as possible to the ones that I actually want. So I'm making all those Ds into Es, and I'm going to make all those um, B flats into A's. And then I just need some C's, yeah? So I could turn them all the F's into C's. And if I actually just um, use control, hold down control, I can select them all one by one and then move them all on mass, yeah? Which is a little bit quicker. And um, so now I've got a bar which has got a, C, E in the right hand, but unfortunately I've got a G in the base, so I need to move that to an A. Okay, and you can see I'm going to keep on doing this. And now you'll notice I've changed all the notes in bar 3 to F notes and all the no notes in bar 4 to G major notes. So this is a way of using a cool rhythm, and obviously you can do more things than I've done. You can even change the rhythm, so maybe you can simplify the rhythm. Yeah by choosing all the first beats and changing them to crutchets. And this way you personalise and customise them. Then you can save them as your own idea and then reuse them in the rest of your assignment.